The lack of sunshine and a sky full of clouds did not stop drivers from racing up the famous Hill Climb Hill in Weatherly Saturday morning, bright and early. About 85 drivers took to the course. It was the first time for a few of them. What we do is when you're a new driver here, a novice, we take you up the hill and, and a qualified driver, trainer, instructor, whatever, shows you the good and bad points of the hill. And some of the drivers are really impressed with some of the, uh, the uh, hill. They got, they got a lot of respect for the hill. We took you know, a ride up and a ride down. By the time they got back down here to the bottom, a lot of them knew that they had their hands full that they were going to have to watch today, you know. So it's a, when the first time you see the hill, the first time you run it, it's a rude awakening. Drivers and spectators alike did not go hungry, with a few different community groups manning the Fairway Subaru food court. The Boy Scouts had fresh fries, the Weatherly Little League had bean soup. Also at the food court, the Weatherly High School Rotary Interact and the Weatherly American Legion Post 360. We draw the money from this, goes mostly for our, our veterans programs and our children and youth programs, which includes like scholarships for the school and uh, different award things we have for the different grades in school. Vendors including pure photography from Berwick, Death Row Motorcycles and Drums, and Pro Race Obsession in Scranton were also out showing off their products. Well, I started shooting photography back when I was 11 years old. As a result, my dad got me into it when I was young. Uh, we started a, the business a couple years ago as a family operation. We both, we all have a lifelong love of motorsport. Um, came up here on a whim last June, started shooting some pictures for ourselves, started talking to the Weatherly Hill Climb board, uh, got in with some of them, and now we're here on a regular basis. Obviously, this is a big car event, but how do motorcycles come into play at an event like this? Well, some of the drivers like motorcycles when they're not driving, so they like to come over, check out the bikes, and talk to me for a little bit and talk about them. We use it for, you know, people to try and beat their friends and stuff. You pick up the gun, you change the tire, spin it once, put the lugs back in, put it down, change, and just stops the timer. Uh, it was something we put together, we built it. We have a RC track that we take to Pocono and use up there and we got called to come down here so we brought this down here to set up see how it works out. By the end of racing for the day on Saturday the sun was shining and then on Sunday a few drivers we spoke to said day two was perfect for driving conditions. What we call turn one into turn two, yesterday it was just standing water and that makes it very difficult obviously to get any traction, a little scary. Today it definitely has cleared up, this weather is gorgeous today, we can't complain. So it has made a difference, times today are just going to go off the charts I think for all the drivers. Since it was your first time yesterday, what, what were your first thoughts of the hill? I'm not so sure that I would like this hill. Today, I love it, it's great. So the first time was the scary time, but it is a lot of fun. Well, unfortunately, my last run up the hill was my best and my worst because as I went over the jump on the top, uh, my oil pressure was down and the motor developed a wrap. But uh, it, was, it was a great run. Uh, I was hitting my marks, so it was a little loose in some of the turns. But uh, uh, there's always the next one in the fall. But driver Jim Barron said there was no shortage of people willing to lend a hand. Oh, the hill climb people are great, and uh, there's several, there's numerous people that are l l years of experience with these British cars. Uh, right pitted right next to me is Tom Knorr, the president of the association. He's helped me out all day yesterday, uh, you know, and he's willing to give me a little bit more help when I pull this motor out and take a look at it. Dennis Williams of New Cumberland has been racing the hill climb for about five years, but he thought for 2013 he'll try something new. Prior to this, I raced a uh, 1964 Triumph TR4, which is a British car. I did that back in the 60s, so I'm doing this for nostalgia purposes. You know, I'm one of those racers, I got to race with some passion, not just anything. It's got to have a passion for the car. This is a 1998 C43 AMG, which is the performance division of Mercedes Benz. And I checked the records for the hill climb and it's been uh, probably the late 50s since somebody has raced uh, a Mercedes. I thought it was time to bring them back. As for the best times this weekend, North Carolina's George Boland held the top seven spots. His weekend best came in at 47.768 seconds, so his record time 47.592 from the spring edition last year held. Bob Gardner was the next best, his time 53.591 seconds. If you didn't make it down to all the action, you are in luck. You can catch the fall edition September 14th and 15th. In Weatherly for WYLN Sports, 
I'm Beth Menzinger.